How's it going, boys? It's me, your favorite Snake Souls merchant, and we truly do live in the best timeline ever. OnlyFans is the site of sites. It has literally corrupted and destroyed whole generation by now, and it is amazing. You see, I know a couple of things about OnlyFans, but I did not know one thing previously. And this thing, like, shocked me to my core, honestly. It's the fact that turns out porn stars who are still active have only fans. Now, I honestly don't know why this surprises me, but this literally puts in kind of a neat perspective how ridiculous the concept of only fans is. The, the point of only fans is, is that you can get spicy pictures of women you previously could not get spicy pictures. But when you're a porn star, that whole concept is absolutely irrelevant. You are literally plastered on every second site for free, and people are actually going to be willing to give you money in your OnlyFans? That is absurd. But that's honestly not the main point of the, th the, the OnlyFans discussion. My main point of the OnlyFans discussion is this. A lot of girls see this as a possibility, because a lot of girls nowadays have a, personally, a personality that starts with a sexy Instagram photo and ends with the gym. That, that's it. Without that, they are absolutely nothing. They, they don't even have a personality, even if you call that a personality to begin with. And a lot of them see OnlyFans as an easy way to earn money. <clears throat> and considering how prevalent OnlyFans is, a lot of people know about it. But the part that people don't understand about OnlyFans is this. That OnlyFans, while it has definitely made a couple of women a rich beyond their wildest beliefs, it has also, well, made a lot of women not rich. Only a small percentile, a ludicrously small percentile of people who have made an OnlyFans account are actually bringing in dough to sustain themselves through OnlyFans. And... A lot of a lot of people, especially women, seem to not understand this. Now, not too long ago, I found this one girl on Instagram, and she did not even have one k uh, one uh one k followers. And I look at it, and she has a post. I'm gonna make an OnlyFans when uh, when I re uh, reach a one k followers. She's like 18, 20, or something like that. 19. Essentially, her whole life is over if she does that. People don't understand OnlyFans. It's like, if you want to do OnlyFans, fi that's, that's absolutely fine. But a lot of people don't understand the simple concept that if you are l uh, making an OnlyFans account and at some point in life you choose to go away from the OnlyFans in that industry and actually find a real job, you're gonna get most likely fired from almost any place you actually go to if they figured out that you had had an OnlyFans account. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. Not because of, not because people uh, look down upon that kind of work. Some do, some don't. It's not the deal here. The deal is like this. If you want to work in an office and, and you have an OnlyFans account, that means... People are gonna be talking about you. Bad blood is gonna, gonna, uh, gonna show up. If you have money, a problem with money and people know about it, there's probably someone who is gonna try and take advantage of you. No one wants to ruin their work environment by risking having you there. That's simply put in two sentences what it is. No one wants uh, no one wants to do uh, no one workwise wants anything to do with someone who has an OnlyFans or was on OnlyFans because you're literally a risk, a time bomb, a ticking time bomb that's just waiting to completely destroy the environment because of some kind of random factor. Because people are gonna talk. That's a 100% guarantee. The other one is, well, you know, people are gonna think that you are maybe a slut. So, there's, there's all the pods that come up with that. What happens when you're not happy about the fact that people are talking about you being a complete hoe? Well, bad consequences happen. And no, and no, and no employer wants to deal with that. Let me tell you right now. People do not get hired because there's a chance that they will just be an absolute uh, de devastation 
to the work environment. It doesn't matter if you can do your job good, even perfectly, as long as you're as long as you're not literally the most important asset of a company, n no one's gonna want you because of your OnlyFans history. And that's the part that people don't understand. A girl that is 20 years old, doesn't even have 1k Instagram followers, is gonna make an OnlyFans account when, when, she, when she gets there. Yeah, sure. Honestly, nowadays, I would say that, yeah, she's gonna have, like, most likely 100 followers or something like that. I don't know, I don't know about that, but having 100 followers if, you, if you're living in, like, Europe, it's gonna mean that you're making uh, money to survive, and that's nice. But sooner or later, that's gonna end. Admittedly, OnlyFans is a strange place. As much as I have heard, there are literally people, ex-celebrities and whatnot, that make OnlyFans accounts, and update them literally like once, or maybe at best twice a month, and they're still making a ching a ching. But that's ex-celebrities. That's people with a lot of reach. So maybe they can do it. Think about it. If, if, if you're someone who does not have that internet celebrity status, if you do not have a lot of followers, how can you do that? Maybe you're gonna have a hundred, but what happens when they slowly start going down? What happens to you? Keep in mind, there's a lot of people who think the exact same way that OnlyFans is an easy way to uh, actually earn that much money. And, while it may be actually 100% true, well, you never hear about how many people actually don't make that moolah when they do in, uh, OnlyFans. And that's a lot of them. That is an absolutely absurdly high quantity of them. And considering OnlyFans is literally becoming a competitive thing, where people now are going to funerals and telling people, well, it's sad this happened, but because of this I'm gonna put my OnlyFans on a 50% uh, discount. Oh yes, you get spammed by OnlyFans almost everyone. There are Reddit sections where people literally ban OnlyFans promoters because it's just so damn prevalent. There are boards where OnlyFans promotion happens constantly. There are multiple things like the OnlyFans desperation is so through the roof now, it is absolutely insane. If someone has an OnlyFans, you will know that they have an OnlyFans because they have because they have sent emails to all their relatives that she that you can get her pics, even though that's disgusting. She has sent all uh, everyone who she knows an email about it. She has gotten into Discord, Reddit, 4chan, all the places where you can market yourself. You're gonna see someone try to market their OnlyFans. And naturally, this was the obvious thing that's gonna happen when OnlyFans struck big. A little bit of time happens, people understand that they can money, make money off of it, so they uh, they start to market themselves. Soon, the second part will happen most likely in the evolution of OnlyFans. OnlyFans creators are gonna attack each other about minor things, aka small creators, are, well I shouldn't even call them creators, small prostitute hoes will attack a big tier hoes on OnlyFans. So, you know, so they get a little bit of attention to themselves, maybe a couple of uh, new subscribers or whatever it's called on OnlyFans. That is gonna be the next move. After that, they're gonna start spreading false information about them that, you know, she has an STD. Uh, the, the good old classic Twitch meta of, well, if you wanna ruin some, uh, some Twitch thoughts career, you just, you know, you literally just let people know she has a boyfriend and that their sims don't have a chance with her. Oh god, it's gonna be glorious. And keep in mind, a, a lot of lives will be ruined because of this. Because trust me, no one wants to employ an ex-only fans creator, or even worse, a current only fans creator. We currently can read news about people finding out someone is an only uh, only fans uh, user. And they get absolutely clobbered in their communities, in their works, in their churches, in their everythings. Yeah, sure, they make the bag, they make the money, they can smell the green. 
But it has consequences, and if you do not make enough green to make those consequences unconsequential, well, then you're then you're gonna be in a little bit of a pickle. But hey, that's everyone's choice. I'm happy with this. I honestly think it's hilarious for people like me. It just alleviates competition, honestly, uh, for actual job opportunities and whatnot. So I'm happy. It's a little bit easier for everyone else, and it's gonna be a fun ride. So, this was Quizzer Sinsen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, check out the everything, and have a nice day. Bye bye.